Welcome once again to Inspiring Donors. Your brother Chris Wallace here with you with another great story of inspiration. You know, so many people uh, drive by our building here in South Florida and wonder what in the world is going on. And uh, our very special guest today is one of those people, George Corey, CEO and broker at GK Realty. Absolutely. Here in South Florida. How did you find out about Food for the Poor? So uh, a while ago, I used to live down the street from here. And just like what you just said, I used to, to drive by what's happening in this place. I never uh, really got a chance to, uh, to come in. Um, years after, I, I moved from uh, Coconut Creek to a different area. And uh, they say when, when God wants you to, uh, to be somewhere, uh, he will close multiple doors for you and open the right one. And I believe that's what happened exactly over here. I had a uh, a donation. I had, uh, you know, I just wanted wanted to give and uh, for a, for a mission trip, something to to do something to change uh, people's life and 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 improve the world, even with the smallest thing uh, that that someone can do. And uh, God led me over here, and uh, I found I found home over here, as they can say, you know, home for my donations and uh, uh, my big why in business right now, a part of it as well is what you guys are doing, you know, to just keep that flowing towards you and uh, the amazing, amazing job you're doing in people's life. Well, it's, it, you're making that possible. <laughs> and uh, that, that journey toward uh, your, your generosity and this whole mission of giving back didn't come easy. And we'll talk about that later, but first tell us your story about, your journey from where you were born, around the world, across the pond, in Lebanon. Long, long, you know, far far away from here. Long distance. So I was born in Lebanon, in uh, in South Lebanon in particular. I grew up the first 10 years of my life in a war zone. And, uh, you know, it was a very uncertain time. Uh, I mean, I, I have memories, you know, that you know, just bad, bad memories in general. So the first 10 year, it was very stressful, uh, you know, for anybody to really grow, grow in, in, in that kind of uh, atmosphere. Uh, when uh, in 2000, we moved to the capital and, uh, you know, we, we, we left pretty much the war down to uh, all the uh, political unrest between, you know, different parties and bombing and uh, killing people. Uh, again, I, I believe God saved me multiple times. Mm. Um, and there's a reason why I'm here. <laughs> mm. So 2018, I got a chance to uh, come to USA and pretty much uh, changed my life. So I uh, took a, a leap of faith and um, in a couple of weeks, I was pretty much moved to, uh, to South Florida. Now, something happened one day while you were working as a waiter. Correct. So I used to work in, uh, in, a, in a nice restaurant as a waiter. Uh, driving home every night, uh, you know, it's, it's a nice area. And then when you on the way to the highway, you pass through a, uh, you know, lower income neighborhood, not so safe. And uh, you just get to see a lot of, uh, you know, poverty, people sleeping on the street, people have no food. Um, so you go from the extreme to the other, you know, where you're pretty much serving people, you know, dancing, partying, having fun. And then on the way home, I'm, you know, beat, I'm tired. And, you know, you see people uh, sleeping on the, on, the, on the floor. And uh, that made me feel like I have no, nothing to complain about. I mean, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep home. I have a bed. And it, it got me, you know, when, 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 you know, I mean, thank God it's not really a bad weather here in Florida. But, you know, sometimes, some days you have some really cold weather and you see these people just sleeping on the, you know, on the, on the, on the floor cold. And, uh, you know, just it, it, it did bother me, you know, it, it got to me at some point. So um, the way I started is, you know, uh, in a restaurant business, a lot of, uh, a lot of waste. So you would serve someone a plate, uh, a lot of time, you know, half of that plate will go into garbage. And, you know, day after day, seeing people barely being able to eat and we're throwing half the food out. So I started saving it. I told all the waiter, you know, waiters, just, just save the food. 
and I would I would I would just drop it off to 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 people who are pretty much sleeping on the street. Uh, I've always believed in breaking a cycle, and and this is something extremely powerful because, you know, I was the first one to travel. Uh, I mean, I had my uncle here, but from my from my immediate family, I was the first one to travel here. So I was breaking the cycle of the family mm. getting worse and worse in Lebanon, you know, because of the economy, because of, you know, the, the, the unsafety, the war, uh, the, the political unrest over there. So somebody has to do that move and break a cycle. And I, I believe the, the, the work you're doing by providing people homes where where really there's there's no way uh, I don't I don't think somebody can excel in life unless they have the minimum uh, a blessing in life which is you know uh, home food and and health I know you guys provide a house for 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 for, for these families I guarantee you that the, the if not the father the son is going to do something different mm. the grandson is going to do something even better and then Two, three generations from from here, you have a complete different uh, family structure, completely different, maybe country as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by breaking a cycle. It 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 will it will go on long after we pass, and that's why I love your mission. And I I, I you know it, it it's a big why for me. If you want to remember me two hundred years from now, remember the guy who helped get you a house that that you know changed the family structure or this you know the, the completely you know mm -hmm. so so this is you know this is why i'm so impressed with this mission and i really call it you know it, it's a it's a part of part of our company right now um as, as you know we we've been able to uh you know thank god we, we're blessed so we're sharing our blessing and we're, we're about 20 something properties so far wow uh so I, I was, I'm even impressed with this number. Mm. What got you into that, uh, that market, that industry, and mm -hmm. how did you get so successful at it? it it's a long story. I've, I've done everything. I've done, I mean, you know, did construction. I've done, uh, you know, used to be a disc jockey. I used to uh, wait tables, a salesperson. I mean, I've done as many things as I can. And it's all about finding that satisfaction, really. And, uh, uh and again, the same thing. When God wants you to have something, he will block everything else for you and lead you toward this this uh, this route. So I got my license, truthfully, by mistake. Somebody told me, <laughs> go get your license. You'll be working with us, selling timeshare. I got my license. I couldn't do timeshare. So I started doing real estate. Um, and just, you know, day after day, I uh, I, I enjoyed it. I, I loved it. Uh, it. It's a business where there's always demand for it. So, uh, and I just, uh, I, it, it became a lifestyle for me. So I, I really live, breathe, eat real estate. It, it's a part of my, uh, uh, my daily routine, you know, so seven days per week for me. I, I really enjoy it. And, uh, building houses that, that, that really came, came through after real estate. So I've always wanted to end up in the building section of, of real estate. And we, we, we started a, a campaign uh, called uh, Everybody Deserve a Home. So every time we sell a property, we take a, a portion towards a uh, towards building a property for, for poor people because we, we truly believe everybody deserves a home. Mm. That's what we all should have. Uh, it, it should be a given. And if it's not a given, you know, I'm pretty sure we can uh, have a long way to go. Yeah. You promote that on your website, don't you? Absolutely. It's it's a mission of ours. It's, uh, you know, we, we believe everybody deserves a home. I speak with all my clients about this, and I uh, uh, we just started talking more about it. Uh, it's Personally, I didn't like to share much about what I do. That's just my personality. And I believe, you know, whatever you do, you do you do it, you know, to... to uh, pretty much to honor God and it, it, it's not really to uh, I'm not trying to take any uh, glory for this uh, whatsoever but I realized that the more people know about this the more we can you know feed the the uh, the construction and pretty much build more properties and uh, we, we went from uh, building uh, you know, multiple houses to, uh, you know, I'm not sure the exact, exact number, but, but I can tell you last year we were able to build 12 properties mm -hmm. uh, by, by making more people aware of this. 
we're being able to do a bigger change, uh, pretty much. And uh, this is the reason why we started this campaign to uh, wow. to begin. Now, wait a minute. Are you telling me that your partnership with Food for the Poor helped you to build more homes here in the United States? It's not to build more homes. It's really like it, it helped me to pursue uh, more business here. Because now we have a, you know, business-wise, you need to have a why. Why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Part of it is your family. Part of it is your growth, personal growth. And a big part of it as well is to uh, keep a legacy as well after after I'm gone. Which, again, we're all at some point. We're going to... We're going to pretty much die and... Can't take it with you. you no, know, you can't take it with you. So all of, you know, um, the material, you know, it's not going to really make much in the end. But what will really stay, like I said, is, is really generations after you will... will will are going to have to remember you personally, but but will remember the work of, 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 of your hand, just like the work of God's hand in your life. You know, if God is blessing you, share your blessing with other people. Such an honor to, to, to see you again. And uh, there are more stories to tell. And you're going to have more stories because eventually you're going to actually travel with us uh, to, to see some of the work you've been doing. So we can't wait for that. I can't wait for it either. As uh, George just said, you it starts with one step from where you are right now. And if you're at your computer right now, you can log on to our website at foodforthepoor.org. Find out what's going on. What's going on in your neighborhood here in the Western Hemisphere, where we're working in 17 different countries, feeding, housing, providing water, providing opportunity, providing hope. You can be a part of that. Foodforthepoor.org. And of course, like, subscribe, and share the YouTube channel where you're hearing stories like this and so many more to come. George Corey, CEO and broker at GK Realty. So glad to uh, have you in studio with us and got more stories to come, right? Absolutely. I'm Chris Wallace. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Stay inspired. This has been a production of Food for the Poor, united in God's work. 